Right, Tony, Charlie, now that Steamboat Willie is in the public domain, we can finally do what nobody has dared do before. Make fun of Mickey Mouse. All right, let's break some ground. Maybe we should call him a rat. That'd be edgy. Steamboat Willie drives a boat in his underwear hair. The first ever sound effect synced to a cartoon. An Atari farting. Why does the boat have a smoker's cough? Well, it was Walt doing the voices. Wait, that's not Buster Keaton. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat! Is he twerking? He's whistling while he twerks. Quit spinning the wheel like that, you idiot! You're careening all over the place! I've wanted to do that all my life! Get to work, you lazy communist! Ah, damn it, the ship's infested with vermin again. See? Edgy AF! He's Mr. Fantasmic! Oh, is this what a tummy tuck is? Get down there and help adjust Irene Dunn's bustle. I stand up to authority. That's why Disney's so pro-union. Mickey tries to fly away, but Plain Crazy hadn't been released yet. Mickey the Slinky. Splash Mountain's not all it's cracked up to be. Oh no, Mr. Cotton lost his parrot. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, wish underperformed, wish underperformed. You know, the inside of that bucket is still a better tiki room than under new management. For God's sake, somebody watch where the boat is going! Ah, uh, there's nothing like taking a bite out of souvenir brick. Always chew your tobacco 130 times before swallowing. When out from his teeth came a bubbling crude. And the fight is on! This was before comedy was invented, so people mostly entertained themselves by spitting on bells. The Marx Brothers used to stand in a circle spitting on the same bell over and over, until they replaced the bell with Margaret Dumont. God, the squawking's worse than the Camp Snoopy truck horns. May they rest in peace. Sounds like Sybil Faulty laughing. F.O.B., the cow's a member of Fallout Boy? We didn't milk the otters! Cow noise is provided by one of those things that goes moo when you turn it upside down. Shouldn't Gertie the dinosaur be in that field? All right, all right, home on the range, cows. You can be part of the Fantasmic finale. They're testing the zip line that Tinkerbell uses to fly over the castle. I sentence you to be hung by the teats until dead. Okay, that's a fetish shot, right? Nah, this was made before sex was invented. See, Mickey, this is what happens when you steal Clifford's dog collar. No, don't click on that hay until you've rescued King Antony. This is exactly how Mac gained all that weight for season seven of Always Sunny. Later, Mickey prepares for his drag show. I've got to deliver this ukulele to Miranda Sings. Maybe it'll work this time. Hey, you forgot the tacked on love interest. Why weren't they this accommodating when I tried this on Storybook Land? Are you sure this isn't a fetish movie? Look, back then it was just accepted that women were transported via wedgie. Guys, this is a cartoon from the 1920s. Either all of it's someone's fetish or none of it is. Would you eat it on a boat? Would you, could you, with a goat? See, the hook is a perfect gentleman. Come on, goat. That's not dynamite. Mmm, not bad, but I could use some tuning. Careful, the goat's gonna start talking in Alan Tudyk's clayface voice. Did the goat swallow flubber? Ah! And my jaw's broken. Go on, Minnie, jump in his mouth and see what happens. Okay! Good thing he moved that goat's head a quarter inch to the right, or this would have never worked. Good, another song with a racially questionable history. Yeah, not bad for the time, but of course now everyone has Goatify on their phones, playing all the music you could ever want through a goat's mouth. You know, this character's suspiciously similar to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Ah, you're crazy. Oswald's actually interesting. Yeah, you got a point there. Music here, music there, music, music everywhere. 
This is exactly how Lars Ulrich recorded the drums for St. Anger. Lars Ulrich bashed himself in the head with spoons, too. I don't get it. Why aren't we learning the state capitals? So this is how you re-season a cast iron pan? Wait, Professor Grampy's gonna need that washboard to make a Christmas present. I'm gonna assume that's the captain's son, and PJ is also in the public domain now. This is for devouring my whole family, you feline bastard! Seems cruel now, but slingshots made out of cats were the must-have toy of 1928. Okay, you're telling me there's absolutely nothing phallic or suggestive about this? I don't know how you could possibly get any sort of double meaning out of I'm gonna go choke my goose. As a young mallard, Scrooge McDuck endured brutal cruelty working his way to America. I thought you said we were having steamboat clams. No, I said steamboat hams. How does he know which piglet's tail produces which note? How many times has he practiced this? Jeez, Heaven's Gate didn't have this much animal cruelty. The new hog accordion. You can play my bologna, then turn it into bologna. Ugh, the kids are really into watching their mom's nipple play. Look, folks, in 12 years, I'll be up on a glorious mountaintop controlling the universe like a god with my magic hat. But for now, I gotta pay my dues and play the pig nipples. How long do you need me to crank this for? Okay, maybe there was some kink involved in this. I think this Crocodile Dennis game is defective. Every cow watching this was thinking, have your fun, little mouse, but someday, someday we will have our revenge when Roseanne voices us and we destroy 2D animation! <laughs> Should really get that tongue tuned. It's not that Mickey's slacking. Pete's just mad because he's an animal rights activist. You can't spell PETA without Pete. Now you get to work building Potato Land before Goofy gets here. Mickey's punishment is Sam Gamgee's heaven. Seems like a wasteful cut of potato. He just doesn't think they're neat. Hang on, did Disney just reuse animation? Oh well, at least they'll never do that again. Let's just torture one more animal before we wrap things up. He got rid of Chapek the exact same way. The most recognizable corporate symbol on the planet ended his debut on the world stage by laughing sadistically at the suffering of others. Yep, the more things change, the more they stay the same. But seriously, this wasn't Oswald? And with that, an empire was born. An iconic cartoon character took over the world so that 60 years later he could spend his birthday wandering into a bar in Boston and stealing Rebecca out from under Sam's nose. I would like to thank my dear friends Tony Goldmark and Charlie Callahan for joining me on this riff. I always have so much fun riffing with those two, whether it's on super fun nighttime shows, disastrous live telecasts from theme park opening days, or cute and bouncy animated animal abuse. I assume if you follow my work, you already follow theirs, but if not, uh, links in the description. In addition to their contributions to the script, I would also like to thank everyone who joined me on the Patreon livestream where I was working on jokes for this riff. Everyone in the chat helped me see opportunities I would have missed otherwise, even in all the countless times I've seen this short before. Mostly on my feet in a dark building on Main Street while five other cartoons were playing around me. If you want to join the next Patreon livestream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And additional pledges get you hours upon hours upon hours of additional material, including early looks at videos, bonus podcasts, and sneak peeks at a certain Blitztravifornia. In fact, $2 patrons can see next week's video right now about my favorite spoof movie. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a big recital tonight, and uh, I gotta go practice the pig nipples. So until next time, this is Dave, signing off.